Hey, it's Heather here. Gonna go ahead and shoot today's video and get it out of the way. Um, this actually makes the third time I'm shooting it. I tried to shoot it earlier twice, and the first time it didn't take, the second time it did. But then I just chose to not upload it because, like, what I was bitching about in it and everything. Um, I don't know. I just got a lot of shit going on. I got a lot of stuff going on in the back of my mind. I'm trying to figure out how to fucking handle things. How to fucking process everything. How to stay calm. Um, how to not be so <sighs> angry. But then again, like, I don't know. There's so much shit. Like, that everybody's constantly going through, I reckon. But then again, I don't really, I don't really believe that. I don't really believe that everybody's going through a bunch of shit. I believe some people actually got some shit straightened out. And it must be really fucking nice. Because I don't know what the fuck that feels like. Especially right now. Oh, uh, but anyways, if you've been watching my previous videos or anything, uh, you'll see where I talk about this girl, EJ, that I fell in love with and everything. And I really did fall in love with her for as far as I'm concerned. Because it's been over a fucking year since, like, we fucking spoke and every damn thing. And I even got mad in a previous video and was like, you damn bitch. Because she's the one that has sat there, you know, and tried to make it all, you know, oh, it's all you, it's all you, you know, and everything. And it just pissed me the fuck off because it's like, no, it's not all me. It's you too. You're, you're doing shit too. Because, uh, she sat there and she'd watch my videos and then she'd put on her deviant art page all this shit, you know, or not all this stuff, but just, you know, it's just like these little subtle things, you know, she's got this folder and everything, and I'm just like, why are you doing this? Do you like torturing me? Do you like making me feel like shit? Or is it supposed to be some type of, you know, kind thing? And for as far as, like, internal intuition, I want to be like, yes, she's doing it because she loves me just as much as I love her. Or she cares about me just as much as I care about her. Or she at least wants to be friends again. And, you know, I have this good feeling about it. For as far as my internal intuition, but I can't fucking listen to that because my logic and even not only my logic, but anybody I talk to about it, their logic, everybody's logic is like, no, she, she's doing it to be an asshole, she's doing it to be a bitch, she's doing it to be this, she's doing it to be that, and then it's like, oh, you know, don't, don't, uh, find people that, you know, are so logical that that's all that they see, you know, you want to find people that speak to your intuition and pull out the positivity of what your intuition's telling you and everything, and it's like, you, I can't find those people. I don't know where the fuck they're at. Like, I don't know what to do. And so, I'm just like, I'm here. And, like, that's the reason I'm like, EJ, just talk to me, you know, and actually tell me what the hell is going on and why you created this folder and why you're doing this. Because I'm just tired of the drama of it all. I like things to be clear cut. I like to know what the fuck is going on. No ifs, ands, buts, or maybes. And she's always tried to be, like, kind of mysterious about things. And, I mean, like, yeah, I like that to a degree. But when I'm sitting here and I'm crying or I'm tore up like I have been and everything, it's not funny. It's not cute. It's like I've really needed her, you know, to talk to and to hang out with and stuff but she just hasn't responded and then there's the sayings that's like oh well, if they're not responding to you you know and if they're not showing you to be a priority in their life then they don't care blah 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 and all that and everything but I feel like that comes from a point of like some people that are dealing with like some form of ignorance to a degree because do you really think marriages last because you see that person every morning, every night, and talk to them every hour on the hour or every three hours on, you know, like, no, there has to be freedom. There has to be, you know, independence. You know, you have to be your own person. That's the reason. I mean, but at the end of the day, yes, at the end of the day, it's nice, you know, if you do wake up and you do go to sleep and, you know, with each other and stuff like that, and there's not that separation, but this whole, like, 
infatuation shit that everybody gets into about love and all that. And they're like, infatuation, and that shows priority and this and that and everything. Everybody's got their own shit they gotta take care of. Everybody's got their own stuff that they gotta do. And infatuation and all that honeymoon phase of anything or whatever. Or even if me and each other are just friends, you know, and all that just caring. Like, you can't have that 24-7. But at the same damn time, there's no sense in sitting there and making somebody suffer for a whole fucking year without a goddamn thing. Other than a fucking folder and some fucking pictures saved in it, EJ. Just saying. Like... So I don't know what the fuck to make of it. Because I wouldn't do that to somebody. I've sat there and I'm like, would I do that to somebody? No, I wouldn't. Because I'm, I'm very straightforward when it comes to any type of relationship that I have. Whether, you know, like, especially, well, I don't know about all relationships. But especially, like, romantic relationships. I'm just very, you know, like, I'm interested in you. Are you interested in me? You're not, okay, let's be friends. Or, you know, let's talk about why we can't. Like, let's talk about things. Let's... You know, like, I want to understand, I want to grow from the experience. So even if me and EJ, like, see it that we can't be friends or whatever, it's like she's not allowing me to grow from the experience because she's not allowing me to have the knowledge that I could get from her to grow from the experience. So, and it's been over a fucking year, and it's just, like, killing me. And, like, it's like... It makes me really wonder if she does care about me or not because I'm sitting here and I'm done struggling. She knows I'm done struggling, especially dealing with my kid being gone. Like maybe, and because she doesn't have any children, so maybe she don't understand, she don't get that. And then like, you know, I've been with two people and stuff like that and very serious relationships and she hasn't had that and so she don't understand how much pain I'm in. It's fucked up. I don't know. I'm just tired. But I'm actually going to go ahead and end this here. So, um, yeah. Because I don't want to sit here and bitch about something and stuff. Like... I get tired of it, and I get tired of not knowing what to name things, and then, like, I don't know if anybody will view this, and I don't know who views what, and when they do, and when they will, and if they'll say anything or not, and all that, and I'm sitting here debating on whether to just shut this down, like, delete everything, or set everything to private, and just shut everything down, and just be like, fuck it. I don't know. I'm just tired of so much. I'm I'm basically kind of tired of all the bad of everything. I just want some good. I just want some good in my life. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to end it here. I hope everybody's doing good. Keep putting your best foot forward. If you want to talk to me, you can hit me up on Facebook Messenger. You can comment, share, like, or subscribe. And other than that, I'm going to let you go. Take care. Bye.